Hey guys, this is Frank. I will look you right in the eye and talk to you. I have nothing to hide. The debates for the Democrats were a disaster. For the Republicans, it was a bonanza jackpot. Something is wrong, something is true. And I'm going to give the Democrats the benefit of the doubt. I see three scenarios. Out of those three, two of them are on the side of the Democrats that they're telling me the truth. One of them is us. Here's the three I see. And check me on this. Tell me where I'm wrong. Number one, you were telling us the truth all along. CNN, NBC, MSNBC, The View, Corrine Jean-Pierre, Rachel Maddow, all of you. You said, Joe Biden is lucid. Joe Biden is perfect. His mental acuity is right there. He's spot on. He's crisp. He's sharp. He's on point. And the Republicans, Newsmax, CNN, uh, Fox News, were saying, we question his mental acuity. So, scenario number one. You guys were right all along, telling the truth. Good for you. We were wrong all along. Shame on us. Could be. In that case, that dementia happened in just like that in the blink of an eye two minutes before he walked on stage he went from being spot on lucid clear to fog brained in the blink of an eye how plausible is that is that how dementia comes on just like a light switch bang one minute you're clear next minute you're not i know that maybe a baseball bat to the head would do that i saw no evidence of that you say he had a cold I didn't see runny sinuses, did you? I don't have a degree in pharmacology. I don't have a degree in medicine. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to pretend I am. But I know what a cold looks like. I also know what it looks like when somebody's jacked up on Adderall. I've seen it. And uh, he looked like he was sweating a little bit, low uh, saliva production, no runny nose. So uh, I don't buy the cold deal. I don't. Uh, next, you guys were saying he was completely fine. We were saying he's not so fine. This is scenario number two. And uh, you were telling the truth all along. You see, this is the second time I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Take it. I'm helping you. We were lying. We were saying he's fog-brained. He's got dementia, Parkinsonian symptoms, Alzheimer's symptoms. Now they call it type 3 diabetes, insulin to the brain. But, uh, of course, I don't have a medical degree. But I have common sense, and I don't like being talked to like I'm stupid. Not by somebody who's actually dumber than me. And a lot of you are dumber than I am. So scenario number two, you were telling the truth, we were lying. Okay, you thought he was okay. Did you know he was okay? Because you sure said he was, vociferously. He's okay, he's fine, he's fine. Did you know that? Or did you think that? Did you assume that? Is that what you went to print with? what you thought, what you felt, what you, you know, your opinion, or was it a fact? And then it turns out you were wrong. Well, why am I listening to you? If you didn't know, if in all these years, you have not seen the gradual cognitive decline, why am I listening to you? Are you truly a, a source for news and information? Or are you an extension of the Democratic Party? Because as a news agency, you have no value. You do have value as a spokesperson for the Democratic Party. Certainly, I won't take that away from you. You're a very effective spokesperson for the Democratic Party. Scenario number three, you were lying all along. We were right about this. It was confirmed when we all saw this on TV. That's another scenario you might want to consider. If that's the case, you were lying. Why are people listening to you? Why are, why are you watching this crap? You've lost all credibility as a news outlet. You've been exposed as a PR firm and a deceitful one. Why are people listening to you? Democrats, why are you still believing these people? They're willing to lie to you and treat you like crap and play you for stupid. Wake up. You don't have to be their stooge. Anyway, that's, this is my two cents. Again, I don't have a degree in pharmacology. 
I don't have a degree in medicine, but I do have common sense. And if you're not liking what you're hearing, I'm probably smarter than you. Think about it. Have a good day. God bless.